Welcome back, everybody. Here we are at the Palace of Hate. And uh, happy Mother's Day to all of you out there. And as a special occasion, I decided to invite my mother over for uh, a little bit of co-commentary here. So here she is right here. Say hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> yep. Here she is right there. Now, some of you might remember my mom in one of my um, video logs where uh, me and her and our buddy Rich went to the USS Hornet. Which was a lot of fun. I'm pretty sure you remember uh, that trip to the Hornet. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Is that the one where Rich rang the ship's bell? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I still can't believe he did that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we got the Palace of Hate here. This is the uh, uh, the fourth level of the fourth episode. And uh, I just want you guys to know, I was absolutely struggling with this map during my practice run. It took me like five attempts. Whoop, whoop, watch out for my grenades. Ow. Sorry, what'd you say? I said, aren't you supposed to throw your grenades forward? Uh, no, one of my grenades ended up- oh god! One of my grenades ended up tumbling down the that? stairs. That's a fiend! <laughs> yeah, that's a fiend. They are one of the most vicious enemies in Quake, and they are super aggressive and super annoying. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But if you think they're so vicious, wait till you see what's up ahead over here. Oh. Oh, there's a scrag up there. Do I take care of them? Oh, there's another fiend. Nope. Nope. Down, boy. Down. Go down. Good boy. Alright, now I'd like you to meet one of the biggest, baddest enemies in the game. This guy right here. That is a shambler, and uh, I guess you could call them the cyber demon of this game. They have a lot of health. They, sh they shoot these, uh, yeah, these lightning bolts at you, and they can swipe at you if you get too close to them. And down he goes. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Those guys are in fighting. Ah, that fiend <laughs> killed that death knight. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, just so you guys know, my mom is not really all that familiar with Quake. Because, um, you know, she's much more into Doom than, uh, than, uh, Quake. But yeah, Quake is uh, very much similar to Doom. Give, well, of course, it is, given that it's made by the same people that made Doom. Anyway, um, let's head on up over this way, where we're going to encounter some more Death Knights and Fiends. There's a Death Knight right here. Ooh, gibbed him. Just a scratch. Just a scratch. Of course, gotta, gotta quote Monty Python. And another Death Knight right here. Pass. Whoop. Oh, oh, nice. He takes that seriously. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you guys... Uh, you got blah, blah, blah. Yeah. In case you guys are wondering how Mom is able to uh, see all this while I'm uh, recording, um, we're using Discord to uh, do voice chat, and um, I'm using share screen to show her what's on my screen. So yeah, everything that I see, she can see as well. And, uh, I do apologize if Mom sounds a bit quiet here. I'm using, uh, or she's using her phone. She's in Discord on her phone, and, uh, I do have her turned up all the way. Anyway, um, there are five secrets on this map, and the first one is right here in this pool. We found a healing pool. Yeah, this right here counts as a secret, and, uh, basically there's, like, a few, um, invisible health kits inside this pool. And if, you, uh, if you're below 100, you can just walk right in and heal yourself that way. And second secret, shoot at that emblem on top of this part. So open that up and reveal another fiend. And almost all my armor is gone. And now we can pick up the pentagram of protection and start wreaking havoc without taking any damage. Well, actually, I technically do take damage. It's just that I don't lose any health. But, um... My armor does take damage, and I'm pretty sure I've lost all my armor right now. Oh yeah, these guys are just tearing right into me, and I'm taking no damage whatsoever, thanks to the pentagram of protection. 
And my pentagram is now expired, and I have no armor now. Well, that's not good. Yeah, I I honestly don't get that. The, the pentagram of protection protects your health, but not your armor. Yeah, it's weird. Well, you better get some armor. I will. But first, let's go for a little swim. Wee! And be attacked by some rot fish. <laughs> cool. Oh, and a squad decided to go for a swim with me. <laughs> And by the way, there's a glitch in the game with the rotfish where the game counts the rotfish as two enemies instead of just one. So yeah, whenever there's a, whenever I'm playing on a level with rotfish, I won't be able to get 100% killed. Oh, and the fiend decided to jump in the water. <laughs> Going on a bit of a treasure hunt, trying to search for some gold. And wow, ow, ow! Okay, I didn't know he could jump under water. So yeah, because of the rot fish, I won't be able to get 100% killed on this map, but I do know how many enemies are actually on this map. Anyway, let's grab the super nail gun and fight off another fiend! Nailed him. Yep. Ha ha ha, I see what you did there. <laughs> and there's the silver key over there, but unfortunately this wall is just a bit too high for me to climb out, so we're going to have to extend that drawbridge to uh, reach that area with the silver key. So, in the meantime, why don't we go ahead and explore a bit more, go up this lift, and find a way to reach that silver key. Ah, just taking a sip of water. That's why I stopped right there before I get attacked by another fiend. Ah! Actually, you know what? I should probably grab some, uh, grab some armor before I continue on. I think there was some armor over... Yeah, here we go. There we go, 100 armor. So, anyway... And by the way, um... After I did my practice runs of this map... Yeah, I did end up dying a few times because of these damn fiends. Um... I went ahead and looked on the Quake Wiki to see how many fiends are on this map. There were 20 of them! Yeah, 20 fiends on this map! Freaking! You should make sure you got your armor on then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Oh yeah. Friggin' overkill or friggin' overkill. Oh, and we have a new hazard here that's exclusive to this level only. Yeah, you can see we have a, a guillotine here, and uh, I can't walk oh, through cool. without getting chopped up. Yeah, if I try to... Yeah, see? Can you go over? I probably can jump over it, yeah. Whoa. Oh crap, there's two of them. Woo! That was close. Okay. I actually probably could uh, try to go over. Oh, no, I can't. It's too high. But there is actually another way to get to the other side of that guillotine without getting chopped up. That's by going over here and lowering these walls to reveal these knights. It's just a flesh rune. <laughs> and now to reveal. I'll bite your kneecaps. <laughs> no, I'll bite your legs off. Anyway, uh, next secret. There's a quad damage down here. So let's grab it. Jump through here. And now we're on the other side of where the guillotine is. Now step on this button to extend that drawbridge and grab the ring of shadows to make myself partially invisible. And let's jump over here. And we have the silver key now. And now for the final se or no, the penultimate secret. There's a teleporter right here, but I can't really jump into it. And there's a square-shaped hole right here in the ground. And what you have to do is you have to get a grenade into that hole and jump into the teleporter like this. And there we go. And let's see here. There is one enemy left. Yeah, there's supposed to be 59 enemies here and not 68, as uh, indicated by the level stats. And I just happen to know where... Oh, hi! Okay, then. 
So yeah, that should be it. That should be all the enemies here. Which means now I can go for the final secret, which is up over this way. And let's raise up this lift, jump right off, and go under the lift. And here's the final secret with some red armor, which gives me 200 armor. Yeah, I always go for the red armor after I kill all the enemies here, just so I can have full armor and health for the next level, which is where we're heading to right now. Oh, it's actually down here. Yep, got the silver key in hand. So it's bunny hop our way to the door and not into that pillar. And let's exit! And there we go! That was the Palace of Hate. And now I know why it's called that, because... I hate those fiends! 20 fiends total in one map! Like, what the hell? <laughs> but anyway, that is that. We are all done with that. And again, happy Mother's Day to everybody out there, and happy Mother's Day to you too, Mom. Well, thank you. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. This was <laughs> a lot of fun. <laughs> and um, I shall see you guys in the next map of this Let's Play. So, take care, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day.